she will attend and time her 69th <laughs> Indy 500. That's actually 69 years in a row. I mean, incredibly. Her first race was in 1950. Joe Melillo met this wonderful woman. He has her whole story and then how she does it. Good morning. Uh, living here for so long now, I get these kind of stories. It yeah. really is very impressive. And there's just some people that embody Indianapolis like Kathleen Spiker does. And she's 100% Indy through and through. And through the years, through rain, even eight months pregnant with her first child, Kathleen made it to the race and sat in those stands on turn one no matter what. And this year will be her 69th race in a row. She started following racing with her dad in Terre Haute and says that uh, she uh, brought her, he brought her to the first race uh, when she was only nine months old. By the time she was 10 and at the Indy 500 then, she was an expert in timing the cars. And then there's this watch, a gift to her dad, which she got back later, which she still uses to time the cars. Although the speeds are too fast for that timer, she records everything, collects it all, and has the story to back it all up. Friends with Duke Nalen and uh, talk racing with A.J. Foyt. I mean, talk about those names. Uh, Kathleen says there's something infectious about being at the 500 and she never wants it to end. It's almost contagious when you're there in that crowd and you get that feeling. It's just, you feel like everybody there is your friend and you're all doing, you know, rooting and obviously for different drivers, but you're all there to see your own favorite do good that day. And it's, it's just uh, like almost a big family. All right, a few things. She has a brick from the track that Wilbur Shaw had on his back patio mm. that she used to live next door to in, in Carmel. Well, uh, they redid the patio, and they apparently threw him in the creek. What? And then she picked, him, picked a couple out of the creek, so there she has go. a couple. In 1973, she took the pit times for the race. It was a three-day, I guess it was delayed a little bit, and then handed yeah. them to Tom Carnegie so that he could announce them randomly. She just happened to be next to him, and she also has almost every time sheet she's ever taken stored away and kept on record. Uh, on a side note, she's also a very intelligent woman. She not only graduated from IU with a medical degree, but then she practiced for more than 50 years wow. as a medical director of a home in Marion County. So. so those of us who still show up to the Speedway with a stopwatch, we've all got our, our way of doing it. Like, like we're in turn two, I'll pick out a post sort of in the middle sure, distance, sure. and that's, that's my, does she have her thing? Do, how does she do it? Well, first she gets the road double D in, yeah. in, in, set in the Southwest Vista, and then she picks the corner right where they come out, which okay. is what we thought when we were talking about the story and she just hits it I mean yeah, she just yeah. she sh you see it there kind of in the video she just does it and she goes <laughs> there he goes and then you have to wait and then you hit it again and right. she's very distinct about it and and the best part is she tells me she cheats now because the oh. time she looks at the board more or less because the the timer is right. off yeah. a little bit well, I mean they're so much faster now than they were 20 yeah. years ago even. exactly and I have a package coming up at 9 15 a longer form version of that story oh, so yeah. it'll give you a better look at who she is great Thank you. Thank you. Looking ahead to later this summer.